Hey guys, welcome back. This is Hidayah Ahmed, and today we're going to talk about collocations. What are collocations? Well, collocations are a combination of words that are usually found together. So, if you look at the word collocation, and just move up here, you're going to see that you can find co and location. So, co means together, locate is the position or the location where the thing is. Location. Okay. So co-locate means locating together. So words that are found together, co-location. Okay, so what happens if I change the co-location? Let me just give you an example. Uh, a correct co-location would be have a seat or take a seat, which means sit down. But if I change the co-location and put make a seat, it's no longer a collocation and it's going to mean something completely different. Make a seat, build me a seat. Create a seat. Build me a seat. You want me to build me a seat? No, just sit down. Okay, so if you want someone to do something and you're going to use a collocation, you have to use it in a correct way so you don't see, sound unnatural and so people can understand you better. Okay, so that is the importance of collocation to seem natural and so people can understand your English better and so you can understand English better okay uh, what happened now oh, okay so uh, how do you learn collocations there are three important ways first thing read and listen a lot listen to songs read stories watch movies just Immerse yourself in English environment so you're going to naturally and unconsciously like catch up with all the collocations you hear. You're going to catch them and you're going to feel good about it. Okay. Second, make a list. Every time you hear a collocation or read a collocation, just make a list. You could find a list online or you could just get a collocation dictionary, which is easier. Okay, practice by speaking and writing. How do we practice collocations by speaking? By speaking, if you just watch the conversation or movie and someone was using a lot of collocations, just, hi, what did I do today? Well, I took a shower and then I did the shopping. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you too. Okay, bye. Catch up with you later. What? You caught a cold? Okay, so just act like you're an actor and copy the person using the collocation so you could practice it by speaking. How about writing? Let's imagine, for example, you're at home. What collocations could you use at home? In, yeah, like an everyday uh, daily home, at a daily basis. That's a collocation. Uh, what would you, what collocations would you use at home? For example, when I wake up, I take a shower, make the bed, have breakfast, then I go for a run. You know, just make up a story and then go back to the story and try to edit it by taking sentences and seeing if a collocation it equals like the sentence equals the collocation then just put the collocation so you're going to have the meaning and then put the collocation so the meaning is more simplified and then you're an English speaker okay I hope you got that if you have any questions put them in the comments below and just so you don't miss anything please like subscribe and Next time you're going to see a video with the with some examples of the top common used collocations. Okay, thank you. Bye.